Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to do an interesting and colorful activity to understand and learn division of decimals. But before starting with this video, let me tell you that we have made many more maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such videos on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors and some pencil colors or some crayons. Aim of this art integrated project is to understand and visualize division of decimal numbers with the help of this activity. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Students, to understand and visualize multiplication of decimal numbers you can refer to our separate video the link to this video is below in the description box now let's start with our activity in the first step take a white chart paper and draw a grid of 10 by 10 units on it where each square is of one unit. Now, let's color any one square of this grid. So, what is the fraction of this colored square? It is 1 by 100, which in terms of decimal numbers can be written as 0 0.01. So students, each square of this grid represents 1 by 100 or 0 0.01. Now let's color any one column of this grid. That means we will color 10 squares. So now what is the fraction of this colored column? We have colored 10 squares out of 100 squares. So it means fraction is 10 by 100 or 1 by 10, which in terms of decimal numbers can be written as 0 0.1. So students, each column or each row or any 10 colored squares of this grid represent 1 by 10 or 0 0.1. Now let's see how to represent decimal number 0 0.4 using this grid. To represent 0 0.4, we need 4 columns of this grid. Each column represents 0 0.1. So, 4 columns represent 0 0.4. Now, let's represent decimal number 1.4 using this grid. 1.4 has 1 as whole number part and 0.4 as decimal part. So, first, let's represent 1 by taking whole grid sheet. So, this entire sheet represents 1. Next, to represent 0 0.4, we need 4 columns of this grid. So, students, in this way, we have represented decimal number 1.4. Now let's represent decimal number 1.36 using this grid. 1.36 has 
one as whole number part and point three six as decimal part. So first we will represent one by taking whole grid sheet. So again this entire sheet represents one. Next to represent point three we need three columns of this grid. And now to represent 0 0.06, we need six squares. Each square represents 0 0.01. So six squares represent 0 0.06. So students, in total, it represents 1.36. Students, we have a separate video on complete chapter of decimals for class 5. In this video, you can learn everything about decimal number like what are unlike and like decimals, how to add, subtract, multiply and divide decimal numbers, how to compare decimal numbers and you can also solve related word problems. So, I would recommend you to watch this video. You will find its link below in the description box. So, we have learned how to represent a decimal number using this grid. Now, we will learn how to divide decimal number with the help of this grid. Question is, divide 1.2 by 4. So, first we will represent decimal number 1.2 using this grid. 1.2 has 1 as whole number part and 0.2 as decimal part. So first let's represent 1 by taking whole grid sheet. So this entire sheet represents 1. Now to represent point 2, we need two columns of second grid. Each column represents 0 0.1. So two columns represent 0 0.2. So now we have represented decimal number 1.2. Now the second number 4 tells us how many group we are going to have. So let's have four grid sheet. Now we have to take each tenth and place it in each group. Students, in total we have 10 plus 2 equals to 12 tenths. So let's place one tenth in each group. One, two, three, and four. So we have used four tenths. Now let's continue to place the remaining tenth in each of these groups until we run out. So let's place fifth, sixth, 7th and 8th one. Now again, let's place 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th one. And now we have run out of the 10ths. So answer is, how many 10ths are there in each group? We have 3 10ths in each of the groups. Therefore, answer is 0.3. So, 1.2 divided by 4 equals to 0 0.3. Students, we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter of class 4, class 5 and class 6 mathematics. We also have related worksheets, quizzes, 
working models, activities and projects on each chapter. So I would recommend you to check out our channel Learning Notebook. Now let's solve another question using this grid. Divide 0 0.54 by 3. First, let's represent decimal number 0 0.54. To represent 0 0.5, we need to color 5 columns of a grid sheet. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Next, to represent 0 0.04, we need 4 squares. Each square represents 0 0.01. So, 4 squares represent 0 0.04. So now we have represented decimal number 0 0.54. Now students, the second number 3 tells us how many groups we are going to have. So let's take 3 grid sheets. Now we have to take each tenth and place it in each of these 3 groups. So let's place one tenth in each group. One, two, three. Now, students, we are left with two tenths and four hundredths. So we cannot place these two tenths in three groups. Students, can you tell me in total how many hundredths do we have? We have two tens which are equals to twenty hundredths plus four hundredths. In total, we have twenty four hundredths. So let's place these twenty four hundredths in each group until we run out of these hundredths. So we will keep on placing these 24 hundredths in each of these three groups. And now we have placed all the hundredths in each of these three groups. Now the answer will be number of tens and number of hundredths in each group which is 0.18. So 0 0.54 divided by 3 equals to 0 0.18. Now students, I am giving you worksheet for your practice. Students, now you have to divide the following decimal numbers using grid sheet and you can mention your answers in the comment box. Do watch my other videos and share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.